Hello boys and girls, it's April 1st, already in the month of April, beautiful, beautiful month that leads us to the holy and beautiful uh, gift of God's blessing at Easter. And so I want to uh, spend my time with you today speaking a little bit about what Jesus gave us as we come closer to the celebrations of Holy Easter. And uh, so today I want to share with you the beautiful story of the Last Supper. The Last Supper, which was the beautiful gift of Holy Eucharist that Jesus give, gave us where he took the bread and broke it and he took the wine and blessed it and said, take this, this is my body, this is my blood. But first let's begin with a prayer, boys and girls, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Boys and girls, I hope you're uh, keeping your Lenten uh, practices that you're continuing to do your best to give up something for Lent and to do a little bit more of praying during the holy time of preparation. Today I want to share with you from one of my favorite Bible books the story about the Last Supper and this is particularly important for us because this is one of those stories that we will remember during um, the last days of the holy season of Lent. So let's go through and remember what Jesus did and what he gave us. The Last Supper When the day had come for Passover, Jesus and his twelve disciples sat down to share their supper. Jesus became serious. One of you will betray me, he said. Judas Iscariot realized that Jesus knew it was he, Judas, who would betray him. But Jesus didn't accuse him. Instead, he offered Judas the biggest helping of food. Jesus loved all of his disciples, even Judas, who would soon turn against him. Jesus raised a loaf of bread and asked God to bless it. He gave each man a piece, saying, Eat this, it is my body given for you. Then Jesus raised his cup of wine. Drink this, he said, to remember me. Thoughtfully, the disciples ate and drank. And after supper, Jesus took the disciples to, to uh, a garden called Gethsemane. Please wait while I pray, Jesus said. Jesus found a quiet spot to pray and fell to his knees. Dear God, he prayed, I do not want to suffer. Please help me to be brave, so you will, your will can be done. When Jesus returned, he found the disciples sleeping. Can you not keep your eyes open? he asked. It is time for the will of God to be done. My betrayer is here. The disciples scrambled to their feet. Judas arrived, leading a group of town leaders and guards who looked very angry. Hello, teacher, Judas said as he kissed Jesus. Friends, do what you must do, Jesus said. I know this is part of God's plan for my life. Jesus also knew that the kiss was a signal for the guards. Suddenly they grabbed Jesus and arrested him.
And so the story continues, but I just wanted to share this first part of the story of the arrest of Jesus and how much he loved his disciples, how much he wanted to help them and be with them, and especially how much he wanted them to celebrate the Last Supper. You know, boys and girls, Last Supper is something we celebrate even to this day because God really wants us to remember him when we eat his body and drink his blood, when we take the bread and the wine and the priest blesses it in the name of Jesus and then we receive it. Many of you are preparing to do that for your very first time in your first Holy Communion. And so I am very pleased, very happy that this is what you're doing. And uh, when you come on Saturdays and you're preparing now to make your first confession and then to prepare your hearts, to clean your hearts and make them ready to receive Jesus in the first Holy Communion. And this is something that is so sacred, so special, and I am so happy that you are uh, you are doing this. Boys and girls, uh, we will hear all these different stories about Jesus, how even though many people uh, didn't like him and maybe left him alone and, and, and made him feel like he was doing something wrong, Jesus continued to bless people and to be kind and to be loving. And so Jesus teaches us a very special lesson that no matter what people say or how people treat us, we are always supposed to be loving and to pray for everyone and, uh, and, and always to have good things to say. And so, boys and girls, continue to reflect on the life of Jesus because Jesus alone can give us the true teaching that we need, the fullness of beauty and and faith. Jesus shows us that pathway that is so important for us to walk, that will lead us to joy and happiness. So continue to do that. We'll continue to reflect on the on the moments of the life of Jesus, his suffering, his death, his resurrection, and I encourage you to do the same with your own Bibles. Maybe there is something you can paint, you can draw from the stories of the Lord's passion and resurrection from those moments when Jesus ate the Last Supper and was arrested and carried the cross and died on the cross and rose from the dead. Maybe there is something you can, out of love for Jesus, draw and sign and, uh, and take a picture and send it to me or share it with your family or friends. Something that will help you to show Jesus that you are with him, that you love him, and that you want to be like him. You want to walk the path of kindness and love and faith, faith in the teachings of Jesus. Boys and girls, thank you for joining me today. I pray that you will have a wonderful day and that uh, the gift of faith that Jesus offers to you each day will be with you always. May God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye for now.